the course. You stay at Jean's for a while. Then All you right. Get, you graduate to on the list. We are on live. And you get a third of our apartment. You get $500 a month to buy your drugs. Oh. You got this apartment that's all barricaded so the cops can't see you doing your drug deals. That's really cool. And just set up a 20 dollar apartment for being a drug addict. You're going know. through recovery and then when you get the apartment you don't have to prove you're, you're not doing drugs. Really? So you can sell drugs to the, all, all the other people in the building that are on drugs, off drugs, getting on or getting off drugs. And they're $30 apartments. And taxpayers are paying for this? Well, of course. It's an industry of homelessness in the city. Right. All the new buildings. And that is why it's not being solved, because why would they solve something they're making money off of? It's an industry. Are that's they, why I want. Homeless, homeless that's city. why I want. A Governor panel. Tom McCall used to say, "Stay away." We're saying, "Come on yeah. in. We'll give you everything for free, especially if you're an addict." Just what Portland needs: a bunch of addicts. You've already got some. Wow. I know. Did you agree? I would say that this is making people stay addicted. Huh? That makes them want to stay here. I would say it makes them want to stay addicted because then they get to keep their rent. Hey, Colonel. Yeah, because if you fall off the wagon, then they're going to even give you more support. So then you're on that, you're grandfathered in the list. Oh, yeah. Because they can't throw So, in order, if you're homeless, you should start doing If you clean up your act, then they're going to tell you to get a job. All right. Okay, but if you're still afflicted, they're going to help you out more. It's fucked up. Colonel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear the story today. Oh. This is great. Great story today. I got a phone call from somebody and they said, uh, hey, can you uh, put together one of those sleeping platforms because I'm going to be sleeping at City Hall and I don't want to be sleeping on the concrete. So I said, sure. So uh, I was actually, it was kind of a miracle because I was on a, a, jo a little construction job project and the construction job was recycling fences into this other kind of retaining wall and there was some extra boards left over so I took them and cut them up and and made a, a platform and uh, strapped it onto my bicycle trailer and my bicycle trailer has a flagpole on it with an upside down American flag and that's because I believe our country is in distress <coughs> and um, so uh, here I'm riding down a main boulevard in Portland, and I come up to a, a main, a big intersection that's at a, at the Burnside Bridge, and uh, I'm sitting in the right-hand lane, and I'm at a red light, and the light's red, and there's no cars anywhere around, and I'm like the only traffic around, and so I look up the bridge, and there's no cars coming, and I'm like, well, the light's red, but I'm gonna run it, and um, I get, I climb up on my bike to get the forward motion going. And I hear this, don't do it. And I turn around and look, and there's a motorcycle cop over there in the left-hand lane. He's kind of snuck up in the lane, and it didn't make much noise, so I didn't hear him. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And uh, I didn't know what was going to happen. I could have got a ticket at that point. But uh, I stopped, and I thanked him for, t for telling me not to do it. And he turned left and said, happy Christmas. <laughs> I guess he didn't know that I had a a a, uh, a, a law challenging uh, non structure strapped yeah. to my bike. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and, and yeah. And and so I guess he didn't I, notice the upside down flag either. <laughs> I want to show our models. Okay, so modeling the non structure is uh, Barry in '99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a great idea, but you know what? All right. This is the yeah, non-structure, yeah, yeah. and I am going to sleep here. That's so, pretty darn cute right there. I know. They're like <laughs> snuggle buddies all of a sudden. So, <laughs> they're doing activism. <laughs> that classic sleep activism. I started saying that. Thing, you know? Yeah. It's, it's not so much about homelessness. Well, uh, I think it's catching on. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep activists. I met a hardcore activist the other day. We were in the woods. Hi, Dan. We were in the woods, and uh, a whole bunch of rangers showed up, like 20 rangers. I'm reaching for my tear gas. She's reaching. I'm reaching for my maze. She's reaching for. She's got a tear gas, military issue tear gas. 
Our core occupier from uh, where was she from? Wall Street. She occupied. Uh, Why does she have a okay. PTSD? So she's, she's worried that somebody's coming after you guys. Yeah, she's totally worried. We had a FEMA van pull up from the Justice Center. We don't know if it's FEMA van, but a, a white van with bars with a cage in the back. U.S. property license plate, federal license plate, not a Oregon license plate. And the guy just looked at Tequila and I. You mean like, Homeland? No, it didn't want Homeland. It was U.S. Uh, Who FEMA? Right. You're going in the detention center. And, and he's looking at Tequila and I with sitting the, in front of the justice center. With a barbed wire that faces in, so you can't get they out. Did the same thing to Pablo. Really? Pulled up and looked at him like, yeah. hey, buddy. I've been asking my friends, what would Here, you fishy, do? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I asked my friends, what would you do if I disappeared? We wouldn't know, because you disappear all the time no, and come back. you guys, my other friends. Okay. People that know me Because we life. wouldn't know. My mom, well, I'd look into it. Okay. My friend Matt goes, I would hire a private vessel. Nice. I'm like, bingo, there you go, Matt. Yeah, I'm afraid Boom that... Uh, that's good, that's a good, that's a good... Uh, we need a buddy uh, system. Because it's something that, you know, you get concerned about. Right. Um, yeah, seriously. So start asking your friends if I disappear. I will call Alex Jones. What would you do? Ah, there you go. I'll call. Um, I say I have a friend. You might I'm be take some poor lost soul home. Okay. Amy Goodman. Who's Amy? Amy Good? I call Naomi. Who's that? You call Naomi. Who? She's an economist. Naomi. An economist. Why would you call an she economist? Wrote a really good book called um, you don't want The to be Shock Diet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were just like not. No, I'm not. I, I'm not 99. <laughs> but I put you on, and you've been very great with Vigil TV. So now you don't want to be on. And, well, but the, it's more visually appealing for the for the viewers. It's actually, people. Yes. So you have to get you have to get the very gel or more nightmare. You gotta like, have somebody like to. Uh, yeah, I thought you liked being on camera, or tolerated it anyway. I've never seen you duck away. Well, I'm trying to be respectful of the uh, camera person. Well, I will not film you if, uh, if you're in a mood to not be on camera, but uh, I'll still like, please. Um, because this this is on for like ever and ever, so it's like, it's on, like the world is seen. Yeah, unless I take it down. Yeah. Which I could do at any point if somebody's uncomfortable. So, uh, I heard some noise, some news about these uh, candles here. We show people this. So. The new candles? No, this is the original. Yeah. Right. You guys will know this from clear back in December, the Colonel made these oil lamps which use cotton balls and olive oil and a wire that he coils that's it a little trick to coiling the cotton but other than that and uh, I brought this now this is paraffin oil I guess I, I, I don't think it is I don't think it's paraffin I think it's actually lamp oil that might be different Somebody refill it with olive oil? A combination. That's the big news, folks. We tried olive oil, it did not work. 99 used the olive oil and thinned it with our fancy sure. paraffin oil. And now it is burning just super. So I got three of these, four of these bottles of this stuff, and uh, the wicks and the stoppers for two dollars. Holla! Which reminds me, if you'd like to see that kind of thriftiness in your donations to causes, you can make a donation on the WePay link on OccupyPortland.org on the left where it says Vigil. I will go to the 50% off sale of the resale stores. I promise and I will get Things like three oil lamps for two dollars plus refills of oil, or a blanket for a dollar fifty, or a sleeping bag for three dollars. Stretching the donations. Stretching those donations, absolutely. 
Oh, and I have an announcement. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad just sponsored 10 trips, round trip for me to come here to volunteer. So that was not to the we pay link, which is the community property, but to me as a volunteer. So there we go. Now I can come here and do my work. Yeah, that's cool. I got 10 trips, that's 20 days. Because I spend the night. So technically I'd be here every day for 20 days. I might I might kind of stagger it and not do like every <laughs> even day or every odd day because I want to be here Mondays and Thursdays for the meetings. And so, however, I have to rig it so that I can be here for the vigil meetings. And those meetings, would you mind telling me about the, do you know about the meetings? I'm probably schedule? going to be inaccurate because I got so many, so much stuff on Dan actually mind. used a head full of meetings, so that that's right. You could end up getting the Jenga meeting accidentally or something. Finance committee. No, um, the meetings are here or we might be over at Terry Shrunk Plaza before GA at 6 p.m. And we could move it. So check OccupyPortlandCalendar.org because we might go on a little early. Um, it was a little rush last time, so I'm gonna ask them to come at five maybe. But anyway, right now, 6 p.m. on Mondays and also 5 p.m. on Thursdays. So do check the calendar to make sure we're still on for those times and come to our meetings. They're strategy meetings. Strategy, like the pallets. They're all gathered around like a campfire. Hey viewer, you think you might come onto the Ustream channel and uh, get in the chat room and say hi? It'd be nice to hear from you. Oh, there's more, more, more literature. What's that? I bought something for you. If I hadn't seen that. Can I tell everybody about that? Um, that's Joel, who has um, disappeared, and he's now in the Justice Center. He was the one that originally um, organized that, and Holly took up the mantle and printed all those out and she's very concerned that um, not a lot of people are going to show up for her first. Because we've lost our leader because he was because kidnapped by the police. Lost our leader and, all right. Yeah. I think that that's a very good cause. Okay, so you guys all know what's going on at the Justice Center, right? Justice League, a lot of people that you love are over there occupying outside of the Justice Center because our Joel um, was disappeared. disappeared. Yeah, he was picked up under a false pretense because of a warrant that had already been cleared up. It was a mistake. While his hands were wrenched up against his back forcefully, his foot flew back as he's gaining his balance. It touched a cop. The cop claimed that he was trying to escape and that he assaulted him. The escape charge was dropped, the assault stayed, then they said that his he had a paperwork error and that was what was keeping uh, Tequila, his boyfriend, and everybody else who was interested in visiting him out. But uh, the good news is, is that there are agencies, um, he's got a disability, and there are agencies that are going to look into his treatment. So he created an event and... Um, it is September 1st. Now Holly is trying to get attendance and I think it would be a really great thing considering he's gone to jail um, to honor him by attending this event in force. It is called Pack the Max, Saturday, September 1st at 1230. Come out to protest TriMet's most recent fair hikes and discontinuation of Fairless Square set to take effect September 1st. We will be packing max trains with picket signs for a non-violent protest. Let your voice be heard. Take back the people's fare. No fare is fair. Meet at Shemansky Park, Southwest Park and Salmon Street at 1230 
we will depart at 1.30 from the main library to pack the max. Pay the fare or don't pay the fare. Just be there. Contact packthemax at gmail.com for more info. Help spread the word. So you guys, if you guys are on Twitter and you would like to support this event, one thing that would be great to do, or Facebook, is advertise packthemax at gmail.com. And um, also this event, which surely must be on the Occupy Portland website, Info Dan. Yes, indeed. So check it out, OccupyPortland.org, for details. Uh, any scheduled changes or you know updates on this information. And let's go support Joel in addition to everybody who needs Fairless Square, which is interesting because anybody who needs to go to appointments or services downtown and lives here uh, needs that Fairless Square. And when we take it away, your mom. <laughs> Uh, and, and Dan's mom. So anybody who needs it, it's becoming criminal. Um, they're actually putting people in jail for 10 days at a time uh, for not having fare. So just imagine if you have to do the please give me spare change thing and all of your money comes from that. You don't get enough. You have to decide between fare and eating. You have an appointment in order to meet with what? Anybody, any mandatory appointment or any need like a shower. You've got to get across town. So you get on TriMet and you end up in jail. Well, three huts and a cot. So instead of going to jail, maybe you can do some work for the city so they don't have to pay for labor for their city improvements. Um, it's an industry. That's why it's not getting any better, folks, because we're making money off of it. Ah. That's what Paul was talking about. If you saw the beginning of the video, if you didn't, go back to uh, ustream.tv forward slash channel forward slash vigil dash TV and look in the archives at this video, which I am about to stop so that it is a manageable size and uh, I'm gonna say it's uh, interview with Paul and Colonel watch that video again at the beginning so that you can see what Paul says because it's another way of making money off homeless people uh, that the city